Hi, welcome to Couples Therapy Bite. I'm Steven. I'm Erin. And we are taking some time to focus on dads uh, because it's Father's Day coming up. I don't really know when, but I've been told <laughs> it's in the next couple of weeks. And uh, what we wanted to talk about is how can you as a couple, how can we as a couple empower one another as parents? Um, and so we were, we were talking about that dynamic for us, but what, what that might look like. Um, and so <laughs> take it away, take Aaron, it, Aaron, for the and day. say something, okay. please. Um, <laughs> um, one of, one of the things that we were talking about is that there's a physical difference in our, uh, parents. there is, <laughs> we're different where physically? what <laughs> I had the opportunity to, um, be pregnant and grow our kids for 10 months and sometimes more than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that gave me a unique opportunity and position and a status. And one of the yep. things we were talking about is how I loved that. I didn't always love being pregnant. In fact, I had a pregnancy that I really didn't love being pregnant, but um, I did love this co-creating, I'm growing human mm -hmm. life. It was just mystical and magical yes. and something I was very thankful I for. I would agree, you were, were very joyful about those things. Yes. Um, and Stephen didn't get to do that. So I would say, nope. don't you want to feel the baby? Like, <laughs> and I'm sort of this um, conduit of sorts of like, I was the mediator of dad and baby. You had, you sure, had, yeah, because I didn't, I, there's a way of knowing our boys that you had that I, that I didn't have because they weren't in my body. Yeah, and sure. physically you had to come through me. Sure. And I think yeah. that that starts a dynamic that feels hard to shake sometimes. Yeah. Because... That parenting goes through mom. mom that I'm know. somehow the president of parenting. Right. And I think best case scenario, the baby's born and we figure out like new status roles and I'm no longer the president right. President of parenting. We are um, co-chairs. But it doesn't always work that way. Yeah. I remember specifically when Leeds was a baby, I would be like, Steven, guess what we did today? He loves finger puppets. And he'd be like, cool, I don't. So I'm not doing that. And I... I don't like puppets. It's kind of a silly example, but I honestly was or like, clowns. why wouldn't he do the thing our baby's going to like? Like, he laughs and he likes it. Um, but I was able to find things that I could do yes. um, with leads that he liked and that we, that was unique to our relationship right. and didn't make me any less of a parent because I wasn't creative with puppets. It just made me, I, I had different things that I could offer and there wasn't, but that was just as equal in a, in a sense of um, relating. And, and I think that there's, there's, there's that sense of, I think sometimes dads come to the parenting um, endeavor such as like, well, I just want to be a part of parenting and sort of the president of parenting <laughs> is going to tell me what to do yeah. and I'm just going to follow their lead. And I think that, um, there's maybe times for that, but I think also for Erin, I think she likes it when all that isn't, all that pressure isn't on her. As simple as things like, why do I have to be responsible for the dinner that we're going to fix for the kids every night? Like, why do I have to be responsible for that plan? Or why do I have to be the one who's looking into schools? And why do I have, you know, those, those are things that, that I can be, I, I can take some leadership on and it's not like, well, I just want to be a part of it. You Tell me what to do. And, and so there's a way to empower each other as parents to, to have some equity, some, some equality, I guess, in, in, what, you're, in what you're doing. Yes. Um, at least that's what we, we've found. The, it's funny, when, as we were sort of discussing our plan, I think I feel more critical of moms, which maybe makes sense. And Stephen felt more critical of dads. He felt like dads should be owning this more. Um, yeah, being a dad, like it's, you're not get a babysitter. In there, make, make some decisions. Yeah, you're, we had a uh, someone that we know. They he, he posted on Facebook or whatever. Like, if you're one of my friends and you're a dad, stop saying you're babysitting your kids, <laughs> which is so true. Like, you're not a babysitter. You're a parent. This is your kid. You're relating to them. Like, they're yours just as much as they are your your partners or spouses, you know, like right. in their mind, just as much as they are, you you don't own the, the children because yes. you, you know, gave birth to them. Yes. Um, 
And then I think for moms, release the way it has to look. Mm -hmm. I think I hear a lot and I, I am absolutely guilty myself of saying, please do something right. my way, the way I would do it, the way I expect you to do it. And then when you do it differently, shut your mouth. Don't yeah. criticize. Like, well, oh. so we have this scenario sometimes like, so if Aaron's leaving to, to and I'm, I've got all the boys, there can be some anxiety or tension about like, well, what are you going to do? And how are you going to do it? And are they going to have fun? And one of the things I keep saying is like, you know what? We will figure out what we are going to do and it will be fine. And I will do it the way I'm going to do it. Not the way you would do it because I don't like doing things that way. I'm not, that's not the way I am. So like, would you leave and just let us be? And that's, yeah. and, I mean, and I do, I mean, I have to do the same thing for Erin. Like she, I can't monitor and manage how she parents the boys when I'm gone. Those you know? are the like, two perfect words. I feel like there is so much monitoring that I hear other moms and I'm my plea to you mothers or primary caregivers, because we're making this a mom dad thing. It could be same yeah, sex yeah, parents. Just partners. There you know, is always who have kids. going to be this yeah. split. Doesn't matter if you're two moms, two dads, it, it really yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Um, whoever the primary caregiver is. Um, and even in that, right? And like you're both primary caregivers. Yes, that's you right. Know? Like you, you and, and I think that that's the idea. Like, what can you do in your couple relationship to be primary caregivers? And Even to if it means... And to respect one another as primary yes. caregivers. Yes. And to not try to jockey for position of, no, I'm the primary... And, and not to try to abdicate and be like, oh, you take care of it because it's easier. You know, I think that that can happen sometimes too. Like, well, yeah, sure, I just you tell me what to do and I'll do it. And, I, and you don't have to be as involved. I think that that is the criticism Stephen has of dads, that they, they are like, oh, she's going to do what I'm going to let her. I don't see it that way. I hear mom saying, my husband doesn't know what to do. I have to explain to him how to be a parent. And I honestly think that that comes from feeling like all you're going to do is criticize the way I do it anyway. So yeah. do tell me exactly what you want me to do. I, I think dads, dads, help me out. I, <laughs> or other caregiver. Or just both... Both of you be primary caregivers. Both of you empower one another empower to be one another. to be parents and, and to, to enjoy, enjoy your kids and to enjoy your relationships with your kids. Enjoy and to, parenting together. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be a really special thing if we can both um, let go a little mm -hmm. and offer that right. empowerment. So, so how? And I think that there's a dynamic. Usually, there's there's a there's a partner that needs to let go of a little bit. And one that needs to step into a little he bit. He just more. looked at me when he said and that, so, didn't he? And so, how can that, how can that happen? Um, what conversations do you need to have? What changes do you need to make? What risk do you need to take um, in your relationship? I mean, this is, this is, this is hard. Um, yes. There, there are uh, things that feel uncomfortable um, and things that you won't be able to monitor and manage um, if if you release some power and if you step in uh, to some more power. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully um, this doesn't get you in a fight as parents. <laughs> or if it does, um, that's go ahead. okay too. Ha have it out. Yes. And then um, hopefully both, you know, be more empowered uh, for both of you. Um, so anyway, uh, let us know what you think. Let us know if this conversation frustrates you uh, <laughs> in the comments below. And one thing I would also like to know too, comment below please. Do you feel like Team Aaron, moms, dog are too hard husband, on it? Yeah. Or are you Team Steven where it feels like dads need to step up? Or are you Team Equality? Balanced and you know, mom, mom. you know, it's never either or, it's both. Always either. both. If you want to be one of those people, you can be <laughs> one of those people as well. Um, but share us with your friends. Uh, good to see you. Thanks so and much. We'll see you next time. Don't be shy. Subscribe. <laughs>